In particular, the growth sector. Officials from the International Monetary Fund, Nigerian officials, and other economic experts at the presentation of the economic outlook for Sub Saharan Africa. The economic outlook for the Sub Saharan region, according to the head of African Department of the International Monetary Fund, witnessed a downward trend in commodity prices. It also shows that inflation was high, while high cost of food prices and fiscal deficits were witnessed in the region. IMF says the outlook is as a result of delayed policy adjustments, increase in public debt and declining reserves. We've seen, uh, particularly in the case of oil exporters, uh, reserves uh, trending down. The red bar here, uh, the red line, uh, shows basically the trend for reserves for oil exporters. In most of the other countries in the region, uh, reserves have you know, been declining also, but have held up fairly significantly. Government officials at the event admitted that 2016 indeed was a difficult year, which was characterized by low price of crude oil at the international market and youth's restiveness in southern Nigeria, leading to low crude all sale. Framework of they are assured that the recently with, uh, launched economic recovery with, uh, plan will offer a solution to the challenges experienced. The business model of extracting and exporting raw commodities with little or no value added cannot continue. This old approach must give way to a broad-based growth model driven by import substitution strategies that will localize production, help create jobs, and achieve sustainable growth. The recent introduction of the investor export of forest window has boosted um, our liquidity in the foreign exchange market and has instilled or re-established the needed confidence by external investors in the uh, economy. The IMF gave advice on what Nigeria and other sub-Saharan countries could do to change the negative story. This finding um, reinforced the call that we made earlier in the previous presentation for a strong domestic policy response to revive growth where it has faltered, but also uh, to sustain it where it remains relatively strong. The presentation of the economic outlook for the sub-Saharan region serves as a wake-up call for leaders in the region to join forces to improve their economies. Their actions in the long run is expected to improve the well-being of the people in the region.